Back west, you don't see too many of these. Lakes, I mean. Natural or man-made. Any kind, really. We neglected the dams or pumped all the water out a long time ago. Owens, Isabella, the San Luis. Drained the aquifers of everything they had. Just a lot of mud and dust now. It's a different feeling watching the sun come up over the water. It takes some getting used to. But if you're here long enough, it starts to seem normal. That's what a ranger's life is now, looking east. You must be the courier folks have been talking about. Word on the radio is that someone wronged you back in Good Springs. The Mojave has a way of burning decent people up. But it sounds like you've done right by the NCR. It's appreciated. Now what can I do for you? Hold on. If we're gonna have this conversation, let's go somewhere more private. Don't worry, not much bite left in this old dog. Sorting and manipulating intelligence is what I do. It's what rangers are supposed to do. This job isn't all gunfighting and gulping shots of whiskey, no matter what the boys and ladies out there say. You have, have you? Misdirection. When you're pinned down, outnumbered, and two days from any help, it's just about the best friend you can have. Misdirection's what saved me all these years. It's what saved us at Hoover Dam. But it's been five years now, and Caesar's right across that lake. He's closer now than he ever was before. I was a young man once. I know what it's like to want to fight for your home. But this isn't it. People back home don't listen. They don't care. Senators, Brahmin barons, folks who are just trying to make it from day to day. It's been so many years that people forget about it. Conscription brings in fresh troops to die here every month, like it's routine. And even if we hold this dam, what then? Are we going to send the NCR's men and women to die here for another five years? Ten? Patrol the whole length of the Colorado for hundreds of miles? Holding this dam. It'll be the death of us. Creating fear and instability among the troopers without causing harm. It's the only thing I could think of to shake things up. It took some people getting killed to realize I'd gone too far. I had to stop. It's never gonna end. This fight with Caesar. People back home don't know what these young men and women are in for. The Legion is the worst enemy we've ever faced. But we can't stop Caesar here. Not without getting a lot of good people killed. More than anyone cares to count up. But even if we do stop him, I don't see how we're ever going to be able to pull out. We're fighting on their behalf, but Mr. House and the families are stringing us up inch by inch. They'll drain us dry while we fight and die over this dam. We offered them sanctuary in NCR territory before, but they won't listen. 
Troopers and rangers have been dying here for more than five years while the family sit pretty behind that damn wall. First thing that comes to mind is to turn me in. But that might not be the best play, all things considered. Even if your heart's in the right place, I reckon it might do a lot more harm than good. Oliver can't stand that Rangers got credit for victory at Hoover. Whatever I recommend, he does the opposite. I said I wanted us on the ridge. He put them right on the western part of the dam itself. We don't have enough firepower to hold that spot. If the troopers fall back, and they will, the Rangers will advance to cover Oliver's retreat. We lose the dam. Oliver and the center are ruined. Rangers are volunteers. Every man and woman who signs up is willing to die for the NCR, myself included. A lot of this is my fault. It's only right that I stand with them. Maybe 50 Rangers will die on that dam. We lose over a thousand troopers every year. Being here is crazy. Getting out's the only sane thing to do. I don't know if you're working for Caesar or if desperation's made me a heck of a lot more persuasive. Either way, this is the right thing to do. Now, I trust we're done discussing this. I'm gonna step through that door and pretend like we never had this talk. I don't believe there's anything left for us to talk about. <laughs>